Let's start. Today we will see how to group user inputs and give a header label to these inputs in the TradingView Pine script. This is the indicator function with name, group input headers. Here we take four user inputs. Two inputs for the exponential moving average, and two inputs for the RSI. Here we calculate the EMA and RSI using the user inputs. And finally, we plot them. Let's add this indicator to the chart. In the input panel of this indicator, we can see these inputs. Let's group these inputs and give a header label to them. For that, write this group attribute in the input function. The value of this group attribute should be the same for all the inputs which you want to group together. So I have written the EMA inputs group value for the two EMA inputs. And I have written the RSI inputs group value for the two RSI inputs. Let's save and see the indicator again. As you can see, now we have separate headers for our inputs. And the inputs seem to be properly grouped under these headers, and the input panel is more readable now. So that's it. That's how you can create header group inputs in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.